Hey, hello, I am proud and happy to be here in the most famous information security conference in the world, Black Hat Asia 2016. My briefing will explain and discuss the Android commercial spyware applications and how to, to, to detect them. Who am I? My name is Mustafa Saad. I am from Egypt. I have been graduated from Faculty of Computer Engineering since 2003. I started working in mobile application development, Android, iOS, and the BlackBerry platforms since 2011. Then starting my postgraduate journey in mobile security since 2012. Also, I am a Udemy Premium Instructor since 2014. <coughs> In this presentation, we will cover the next topics. First, we will introduce the problem. Then, we will explain our proposed approach. We will answer the question of how the commercial spy developed and works. Then, we will demonstrate our disease approach, which I called chameleon spyware. After that, we will demonstrate our medication approach, which I called Android Smart Fuzzer. And finally, we will conclude our results. What is Commercial Spy? Commercial Spy applications are sold worldwide through the Internet, and easily you can find them by just Google Mobile Spy for Android. The primary purposes of these applications, as announced through their websites, is to spy on your employees if you are a business owner, for parents to monitor their children, or even to catch a cheating wife or husband. Usually these applications installed on the phone when the attacker is capable of gaining physical access to that device and it can also be sent as a link through email or text, and recently can be installed through repackaging attack on the official and the third-party Android stores. Most of these apps have the ability to hide their launcher icon from your screen, <coughs> making it difficult to be detected by the vector. Others go even further, requesting or requiring device admin in which the app has access to pretty much anything on your phone to make the spyware impossible to remove or uninstall. Most of these apps deliver a command and control web page with an online account for registered customers to monitor their victims in real time. If you want to be an attacker, using one of these commercial spy, so most cheaper one will be charge you one dollar per month. <clears throat> the attacker who installed any of the commercial spies on his victim cell phone will gain a horrible interception features, such as victim's contacts, cell phone IMI and SIM uh, card IMZ, Call logs, SMS, recording calls, captured photos, control front and rear camera, location tracking, remote mic recording, and more and more. According to high rate installation of commercial spyware, which has increased in the last two years, as reported in Google Android security reports, Lacon research team report, Alcatel Lucent mobile malware reports. So the result is commercial spyware websites considered as hidden markets that work out of Google Magnifier. Our proposed approach to catch commercial spies was divided into two main parts. In part one, I will answer practically 
with a demo how your sense of information like your incoming call, outgoing call, and received SMS can be intercepted and transmitted out to the commercial spy servers. By developing a real spyware application which I called Chameleon application. Chameleon's is name coming from the invisibility of the Chameleon application icon on the launcher screen like most of real commercial spyware mechanism in uh, hidden themselves as I mentioned before. Chameleon application will give us a good chance to deeply understand and discover the techniques of attackers in intercepting these three privacies and will lead us to stand on Android application layer weakness points. In part two, I will introduce my automated fuzzing solution that I called Droid Smart Fuzzer. Droid Smart Fuzzer test cases will be based on the deep understanding of the Chameleon spyware which we already developed. So you will see me as a double agent in this session. In part one, I will act as a black hat hacker who is trying to intercept the victim's privacy, received SMS, incoming call, and outgoing call. And in part two, I will act as a white hat hacker who is trying to detect the undetectable. So, we'll start with the black hat. This is our uh, part one. Uh, simply Android operating system, compromise of different software layers, Linux kernel layer, libraries and Android runtime layer, application framework layer, and application layer. Application layer is the final destination for the developer journey where his application is installed and run. This layer communicates with the underlying layers through different form of inter-process communication endpoints, IPC. These endpoints are the manifest or Android manifest to XML. This file, which contains the core information about the Android application packages, ABKs. Activity is the, is the user interface component built on the base activity class, which takes care of creating a window for the developer in which he can place his graphical user interface. Surface is an application component without a user interface that perform long running operation in the background. Content provider act as a programming interface to common shared data stores. broadcast receivers. These are commonly found where applications want to register for system or application events. All registered receivers for an event are notified by the Android runtime once this event happens. For example, applications can register for the process outgoing call system event which is fired once the Android user try to dial a cell phone number. Our proposed Chameleon Spy application simply based on registering a broadcast receivers for the next Android system events. Received SMS, incoming call, and outgoing call. So once the victim received SMS or call or try to dial a cell phone number, our events will fire and the registered broadcast receivers will read this data and send it instantaneously to our cloud database. Here, we are registered the, re the receivers for the three events, like the SMS received, and a new outgoing call, and the phone state. Phone state is for the incoming call. So our broadcast receivers are the, for the incoming SMS, outgoing calls, and incoming calls.
Once the victim received the SMS, our registered receiver will fire the own receive method. <coughs> this is the own receive method on the broadcast receiver. And the own receive method uh, sends the content of the SMS to our cloud database. And the same for incoming and outgoing calls. It is the broadcast receiver for uh, incoming call and outgoing call. So now we will see the demo for uh, Chameleon Spyware. Now we have, uh, we already gained access to the uh, victim cell phone and I already downloaded the uh, Chameleon uh, Spyware application and then I will install it. Nice one. Here is the Chameleon Spyware application. Now we have uh, a physical access to uh, the vector cell phone. Now we're installing our Chameleon uh, Spyware application. This is the main activity. Once the application is installed, it will be hidden from the uh, launcher screen. And the first thing uh, this application uh, is uh, doing is reading the MZ for the uh, victim cell phone and all contacts for this phone and the manufacturer information about this phone and send it to our cloud database. This is the first thing that happened when you install this uh, spyware application. And also this application is, uh, it will be uploaded with my presentation, so you're welcome to install it to be one of my victims. Now it's installed. Now we open the launcher, the screen launcher for the Android phone, and the node Chameleon application exists. This is like all of the commercial spyware applications. Okay, this is my cloud database. I will connect to the cloud database. We already have five tables. Table for vectors, table for contacts, Table for incoming calls and table for outgoing calls and table for received SMS. This is our five tables in the cloud database. So here's the victims, the MZ number, and the manufacturer information about the cell phone, and the phone number if it is applicable. Here is the contacts. We read all contacts and convert these contacts to a VCF file and then send this VCF file to our cloud database. So now I will open one of these VCF files. I will save it to my laptop as a VCF file, the VCard file. It will be asia.vcf. Then I will open this VCF file uh, by one of the VCF viewer applications. You see, here is the old context of one of my victims. And now for the SMS, the received SMS, the broadcast receiver is fired. And when you receive the SMS, it's coming to my cloud database. As you see, we have a lot of SMSs coming from my victims. Most of them in Arabic. The 
here's the outgoing, uh, outgoing call, this is the out number and the MZ for this victim. And now the incoming call. So the conclusion of Chameleon application development is we have registered a broadcast receivers which respond to broadcast messages received SMS incoming call and outgoing call from the system itself. These messages are sometimes called events or intents. Now whenever the Android device call or received SMS started an out, in, out call or incoming call event, it will be intercepted by broadcast receiver classes. These system events will fire the implemented logic inside the on-receive method in these broadcast receivers that will be executed to send this information via the device internet capability out to our cloud database. This concept of broadcast receiver working mechanism will lead us to the medication process. Also will give us the idea to uncover the behavior mask of any application intended to eavesdrop our privacy. Now, the white hat, the droid smart fuzzer. We will take into consideration our deep understanding of the chameleon behavior and the technique for intercepting the user's privacy. So we will think like a white hat vulnerability testers. The main target is to develop a full automated fast testing solution write a good test scenario, design this scenario to be a real fast testing environment for the applications that are interested in one or more of the next permissions. Receive the SMS, process outgoing calls, and read phone state. This is for the incoming calls. Then analyze uh, the behavior of the application under test in the response of these fuzzing scenarios. Now we'll talk about the proposed anti-spyware collaboration diagram for the droid smart fuzzer. Our first step is to read all installed applications permissions. We filtered the installed applications according to one or more of their authorized permissions. Again, received SMS, incoming call, and outgoing call. So now all commercial spyware applications will fall in this filter list. Now we'll prepare our fuzzing injectors. For SMS, this is our first injector. And the idea here is to implement a real SMS in BDU format. This video contains the message wake up. And this SMS data about itself, and then after preparing, uh, sorry, video contains the uh, message wake up, and this, is, uh, this SMS data about itself, and then after preparing uh, some uh, metadata, uh, we will broadcast it to the, Andrea, uh, to the Android application layer. Simply, this is a handmade SMS. I already developed SMS with a BDU format. The content of this SMS is wake up. And then I broadcast this SMS to the Android application layer. So any application interested in received SMS or read the SMS, he will capture this SMS as a real one. And the second injector will be the outgoing call. We simply use action call event uh, in, uh, in the phone call functionality available in the Android triggered uh, build device to force the cell phone to call itself. This is simply uh, I forced the phone to call itself. You know, if you uh, try to call your cell phone number, it's just working for four seconds and they give you line or number is busy. And this is the idea. I force the phone to call itself to make a real environment of an uh, outgoing call. 
and the last injector for the incoming call. Uh, the incoming call injector, uh, I used the Acognalis Android uh, library, which used the commercially in mobile number verification, integrated Cognalis library in our Droid Smart Fuzzer project, gave us a good opportunity to inject the application under test with a real incoming call environment. And we'll see now with our demo. We will fuzz them by the previous injectors, then monitoring uh, and recording the internet usage behavior according to these uh, fuzzing injectors. The application that will pass stage one and give and gives a positive impact in consuming internet usage from any of the fast test cases will be spyware application. All of the commercial spyware websites announced, uh, announced that the spy application is 100% undetectable. As you see, this is one of the commercial spyware application, so MX Spy. And uh, this website announced that this commercial spy is 100% undetectable. And this is a big challenge for Droid Smart Fuzzer to detect the undetectable. Now the demo. The demo will be uh, between Droid Smart Fuzzer versus Hello Spy. And the Hello Spy is one of the commercial spyware applications. Take in your mind that uh, I already installed Hello Spy uh, since August or September 2015 for a demo version. They offer to the customer a demo version for seven days. But the problem after this demo ver version is running out, Hello Spy is still working on my, on my mobile until now. And he's getting my privacy out until now. <laughs> Here is our Droid Smart Fuzzer. This is the filter. We already read all installed application permissions. And if any of them have one or more, has one or more of our interested privacies, incoming call, outgoing call, received SMS, we put it in our doubtful list. You see here we have a lot of commercial spyware applications. Now we will choose com.hellospy.system. This is the permissions of com.hellospy.system. And now we will fuzz this uh, commercial spyware, Hello Spy. You see, I forced the phone to call myself. This is my number, engineering Mustafa Saab. Line is busy. And then monitoring. This is a spy because it consumes the internet during the outgoing call. Now, for the handmade SMS, wake up SMS. Spy. And here is the Cognalis server, the incoming call. See, this is the notifications. Have three uh, privacies. This is spy on three privacies. Outgoing calls, received SMS, and incoming call. Now we'll do the same, but for one of the system application to see if we have uh, false or false negative or false positive. We'll choose com.android.email has two of our uh, interested permissions. Received SMS. Mm -hmm. 
and the incoming calls. Now we'll fuzz uh, the android.email application. Now the handmade SMS, the wake up one. And the Cognalis for the incoming call. No spy alert. Okay, as you see, you have no notification about any spy for uh, Android.email. This is a dashboard for Hello Spy. As you see, these numbers starting with plus is coming from Cognalis, and it's going directly to the Hello Spy dashboard. Okay, this is for uh, incoming call, and this is uh, my number for the uh, outgoing call when I force the, the phone to call itself. And do you remember the wake up message, the handmade message? It's sent to the dashboard for Hello Spy. So it's a real SMS message. I already developed this uh, SMS injector like a real one. So it's going to the dashboard for Hello Spy. We tested our Droid Smart Fuzzer against top 15 commercial spyware applications and four free spy applications on Google uh, Play and Amazon stores. This is some of uh, the commercial spyware applications. Droid Smart Fuzzer succeeded to detect all of them. Droid Smart Fuzzer is not only used to detect the commercial spy applications, but also has its success story in detecting one of Paidu applications, which is Paidu Map. Citizen Lab was announced in 23rd of uh, last February that Paidu web browser application for the Android platforms transmits personal user data to Paidu servers. Android Smart Fuzzer also detect that Paidu Map for the Android platforms transmits personal user data during the incoming calls, and this result has been written in my paper, Evaluation and Results section. And here is com.baidu.map.location, the red rectangle. If you want to know how to develop Chameleon and Android Smart Fuzzer applications step by step, you can join my course, Android Spyware Disease and Medication English version on Udemy. Thank you, and sorry for exceeding my session uh, plan time. And if there are any questions, you will, be, you will easily find me around with my Egyptian flag hat, this one. Find me around with my Egyptian flag hat, so ask me as you can, and I will answer you as I can. Thank you.